Hello friend, in this video we will discuss the warpage and shrinkage of the plastic part. So these are the defects generally occur in the plastic part. Okay. So we will discuss these defects in detail. Okay. So if you are new here, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the updated videos from mechanical design Adda. Okay. So let's discuss the shrinkage or the sink mark on the plastic part first. Okay. So you can see on the product after manufacturing of the product you can see the dimple like uh, shape okay on the part or or some uh, stretching is there inside the stretching of the part so this defect generally occur on the uh, plastic part most of the plastic part you can see this type of uh, defects okay so these defects uh, 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 generally not affect on the plastic performance or on the strength of the plastic part but, but aesthetically uh, these defects are not allowable okay this defect generally occur due to the uh, inside pulling or uh, pulling of the part because of the uh, when you are cooling the uh, plastic okay so during the cooling cycle when you are cooling the plastic part uh, so at that time the uh, the mold surface okay so the surf the plastic surface so the outer surface of the part is easily cooled okay but if you see the inside portion is remains hot okay so at that time the uh, because of the uh, not complete cooling so the inside portion that hot portion pulls the uh, uh, outside portion okay due to the stretching okay because of the stretching the inside portion stretch the outer portion because of the uh, there is an uh, heat difference means our uh, outer surface is completely cooled and inside portion is remains hot so so that pooling is there so because of that this type of the defect will come okay that is uh, we generally call it as a sink mark okay so to avoid this type of shrinkage uh, we need to keep the uniform thickness of the part okay so while designing the ribs bosses uh, of the of the plastic part so at that time we need to uh, means we need to think of the uniform thickness okay so we need to maintain the uniform thickness while designing the ribs and the bosses okay or also for the complete geometry of the part okay so we need to take the uniform thickness throughout the plastic part okay now let's discuss the plastic warpage or the warp okay so the warpage or the warp is nothing but the bending or the twisting of the plastic part after the uh, manufacturing of the product okay so uh, this warpage uh, uh, we can avoid by using some ribs gazette because you can see here uh, the complete flat portion is there okay the long flat portion is there so because of that the material material it will concentrate okay while the uh, during the cooling and um, this defect is comes like a bending or the twisting of the part okay so you can see here in the picture one thin rib is there and the thick rib is there okay so in the first picture there is an uh, 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 rib thick rib is there so uh, the uh, miss bending is uh, is like this okay and the thick rib is there and so for that the bending is like uh, this shown arrow okay so it depends upon the thickness also and also uh, where we are using the ribs okay and how we are using the ribs okay so we can avoid the warpage in for that purpose we need to properly uh, use the rib direction okay so we need to properly use the rib direction and also we need to use the correct thickness of the rib okay so that we can avoid the warpage that's it for this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you for watching see you in the next video